guys um welcome to my channel my name is anisa and i am getting ready to do a chit chat slash rant i guess um on some various topics one of the things that i saw online was like apparently there's a video on um aisha curry's page or i guess on her ig story where she was promoting something with stuff and like she goes to make a joke um you know like all couples do and she says you know that's not the only thing you were going to be doing uh tonight or whatever night it was and folks just went crazy and not in a good way people were saying that like Steph was embarrassed by her because like he immediately got out of the car and cut the camera off and stuff and like people tried to like make it like such a huge deal and make it you know seem like he was actually embarrassed by her but I think that you know they were just joking and um some people have gone too far where they said that Steph should cheat on her and stuff like that. And they also said that when there was like another video of her at her new restaurant, you know, dancing and, you know, she, she wasn't, you know, the best dancer, but you know, she was having fun. People were just, you know, going out of their way saying that like Steph's embarrassed and that, you know, he should cheat on her and stuff like that. And like, my thing is, is that these people have been together for like almost 20 years. I, I, I think they're good. I think they're happy. Like, you know, why wouldn't you have fun and make those types of jokes or, you know, be silly with your significant other or your, your spouse and whatnot. And I just think it's so weird. Like, cause it's not just them that people bash online like just for existing like they do that with sierra and russell wilson like apparently they're more palatable because i guess sierra went through the struggle of her relationship with future and now she has this great man who is a great man and my thing is is that you know one Having a healthy relationship or a healthy marriage with somebody is not corny. Having um, a man or a woman that supports you and loves you and will go over the moon for you is not corny. I think people are just so used to like dysfunction that one, anything that doesn't look like drama is like scary. <laughs> like, or like, it's just, you know, bad or corny or whatever and also because people are so used to dysfunction they start to think that like that's the prerequisite for having like the love that you deserve like you do not need to struggle to have a healthy relationship you do not need to struggle in order to get the love that you deserve not to say that everything will be peaches and rainbows because they're not it's it's not like college where like in order to graduate you must fulfill these requirements like no in order for you to have a healthy marriage or a healthy relationship the only prerequisites that you need to have is being whole and healed communication trust and any of anything else that you know people might tell you that you need in order you know to make things work so uh, it was people just being annoying as usual um, in regards to them. I'm like, I'm low-key kind of tired of it because, you know, this generation and the one after us, it, it just seems like, you know, folks can't be happy, you know, with themselves or with their significant other or their spouse or else, you know, it's deemed as corny or whatever. You can't be a good man or a good woman to, you know, who you're with or else that's corny. Like, I, I don't know, people kill me. So, and like another thing that like I've seen, this kind of goes hand in hand with the last point that I made about, you know, struggle of. Meaning like, I don't understand why 
people are so afraid of accountability. If it were me, I would rather somebody hold me accountable than for them to sit back and allow me to do dirt and to be trash. Like, what is it with people taking pride in being a trash person? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, I just, you know, girls call guys out on their bull and like, folks get mad because you're calling them out and you know say like no i'm not gonna stand for this or i'm not gonna you know do this like you're trash like don't treat me that way and like they they say that you know that person's standards are too high or they're high maintenance or you know they're difficult because you know people do have standards like you have the right not to put up with somebody like you have the right not to put up with someone's you know trash behavior like you don't have to be around that like you're not a garbage can i just feel like people don't like to be wrong which is a problem within itself um but the thing that i love seeing is when people talk about wanting to grow or they want to grow with somebody but when the time comes they run away or try to like project like stuff on them and like they want to avoid you know things at all costs because they're being called out on on their stuff like i get it it hurts your ego when you are you know being called out for something but at the same time like it's just gonna make you better and my thing is is like why why is that an issue like why is it an issue you know for somebody to call you out i think the only issue that like that i may have like if somebody were to call me out on something is if you know one they're not doing it from a place of love they're doing it from a place where you know they want to put me down um whether that's publicly or privately or uh two um it just seems like all they want to do is just nitpick because that that doesn't you know help anybody for real for real all you're doing is just pointing uh out all the bad in them rather than you know uplifting and encouraging them that's something that like i i i'm just like trying to wrap my head around um because like overall like and with the whole like um steph and aisha thing like i feel like there's just like a shift in like perception of what it means to be one i guess in a healthy relationship or a healthy marriage and then two like what it means to be a good person i guess you know like nobody wants to be held accountable and stuff you know or take action for you know some of their behavior and stuff like that at the same time you want the long lasting relationships you want to be successful you want to uh, be this bomb person or have people around you that are like cool but you know you can't really have those things if you're just gonna stay in your trash behavior or in your trash ways and you're not willing to learn or unlearn some of the things that you've picked up i just feel like there's just like a shift where like folks just don't want to be wrong folks you know want to call people corny for having a family and supporting them and you know having a relationship or a marriage where they're not fighting and if they are fighting it's done behind closed doors and it's not you know all on social media or in public at an event um or you know people they cringe or they, they get baffled when they learn that, you know, you can have a healthy relationship or a, or a healthy marriage without having side chicks. 
or having, you know, a person hopping in, you know, those DMs and, you know, they're actually being good husbands and good wives. All I have to say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, keep it positive. It's been a heavy day today. Um, and I shall be back within the next week or so. Thank you. Bye.